Good day, brothers and sisters. Wisdom at Dawn, episode 327. Remove impurities to retain the steadfast and true, a limited understanding. Master says we must resolve to safeguard our minds and perfect purifying precepts to be as impeccably flawless and pure as jade. When we are radiantly clear and flawless inside and out, our external practice and internal cultivation will be consistent. And if we can establish a firm resolve and safeguard our minds and safeguard this aspiration, then naturally we will be able to uphold precepts which guard against wrongdoings and stop all evils. Therefore, we must try to uphold precepts and do so perfectly to remain pure. By perfecting purifying precepts, we protect our wisdom life. If our minds are very pure, we will naturally treat people and matters with sincerity, integrity, faith and steadfastness. We will have no hidden impurities. So the value of life is not just in external appearances, but also in being radiantly clear and flawless inside out. So indeed, we must safeguard our minds so that they remain pure and perfect. Our external practice must also be consistent with our internal cultivation. Master says this can be compared to a piece of jade valued for its purity and absolute flawlessness. Similarly, spiritual practitioners' value lies in their firm spiritual aspirations, which remains undefiled. As the lotus teachings were about to be given by the Buddha, 5,000 people in the assembly got up and left. In the sutra verse, those with limited wisdom left, and the ones such as these in the fourfold assembly were 5,000 in number. They did not see their own faults. Their upholding of precepts were flawed, but they defended their imperfections, so those with limited wisdom left. Those who left were likened to the chef within the assembly. Have you ever seen people harvesting rice? After the rice stalks are cut off and left out to dry, they are put into the winnower. When the blades of the winnower mill the grains, by separating the rice from the husk, the chef does not remain. It is naturally eliminated, eliminated through the process. So these 5,000 people were the same. They had overbearing arrogance, lack of faith and limited wisdom. Therefore, they were like empty rice husks, which when the wind rises, it will naturally fly away. So we must be sincere and steadfast like rice grain and not like empty husks. We must take the Dharma to heart. Once we do, each of us will be a true seed. If we do not take the Dharma to heart, we will be like the empty husk of grain, lacking any Dharma inside. Only the steadfast and true would remain. The Dharma is free of delusion, delusional affections and eliminates unreal and false thinking. And therefore, it is true. Indeed, the sutra states that all that the Buddha expounded was true and real. So as Buddhist practitioners, we must have the resolve to safeguard our minds and perfectly cultivate purifying precepts. Then our minds will be as impeccably flawless as jade in order to be of value. And therefore, be mindful always. Gan'an for listening in. May wisdom and inspiration be with all always.